guys welcome to my channel how's everybody doing today i'm going to do another um, update on my husband on his pancreatic cancer journey um i don't have notes this time so it may flop around a little bit i apologize for that because i'm i'm gonna tell you what i'm exhausted i can only imagine how he feels if i feel this exhausted <laughs> um but everybody knows he did have his other biopsy and um so he finally got to see the surgeon again his oncologist surgeon he saw him on the 7th i'm not sure exactly when this video will be up but you know i wanted to get it done for you guys so he saw his oncologist surgeon on the 7th he saw his medical oncologist on the 8th and he had uh, his port put in on the 9th for his chemo so when we saw the oncologist surgeon, he explained everything to us. Well, he explained as best as he could. And we had lots of questions. And I'm going to go over some some of the stuff that he went over with us so you guys could know. Um, he said that he felt it was best that uh, my husband start chemo first for several reasons, which I'm going to give to you. One is because, as I said, the mass is either right up against... The vessel or wrapped around a vessel in his pancreas and um the chemo will shrink that so that he could go in and remove and do the whipple procedure and have clear margins because if it's attached or wrapped around he can't take that part out and there's just no sense because then he's just leaving cancer in his body so that was one of the reasons another reason he said my husband is too malnourished and weak to even have such a major surgery at this time and um another reason he said is that he cannot even guarantee at this time that the current cancer has not spread he said because the cancer cells are so small that he does cannot guarantee that it has not spread so that way if he has the chemo first that it will help kill all these you know shrink the tumor and kill all these cancer cells that might be around that he doesn't know because obviously pancreatic cancer as i told you is a very very aggressive cancer and um he just felt this was best and when we were in the next day at the medical oncologist's office he agreed with the doctor that it was best to do it this way so he is supposed to start chemo hopefully uh he we saw him that wednesday he said that next week or the following week right before Christmas, he's hoping. Uh, he did give us the name of the chemo. I'm going to put it here. I wouldn't even know how to say it. But he also told us a bad thing about it right now is there is a shortage on this medicine. And so this is going to be a problem too. Now he'll go on Wednesday. The I had to go check. He'll go on Wednesday the 15th. He has to see a counselor. Before he's allowed to start chemo, he has to see a counselor. With, I, I don't know exactly what is said in this meeting. I'm sure they go over the good, bad, and ugly of what's going to happen. Because um, it's a very, you know, it's going to be very hard on him. I'm sure because he's already in a pretty much weakened state. And um, they're going to go over that. And once he goes over that, hopefully he'll start chemo that Thursday or Friday or the following week. So there's that. And um, I did, but um, I wanted to be sure because I know a lot of people were wondering what stage it is. So they, this is why they cannot stage it because um, he just, he said that all the scans my husband had, <clears throat> you know, he felt that it, they were split. I don't know how to explain it, but split a little bigger than what he wanted that he could not confirm that it has spread or not because um, my husband is still pretty sick. And stuff like that and so my husband did get his port put in and he got it put in on this side here uh, there's a cut which I'm going to try to put a, either a picture in right with me now or just separate uh, just depends on how the editing goes and show you what it looked like so there you go and um, it's underneath which I didn't know because a lot of times I see them that they're out but this one is underneath and the doctor said from what I understood, his surgeon said that it will stay in there forever for all of his chemo needs or whatever else that may arise um, and stuff like that. So, but he will do three months of chemo. And right now, his medical oncologist who will be doing the chemo treatment says he's thinking about two weeks on, one week off for three months. 
Then after the three months, they'll have to do another scan to see if it has shrank enough um, so that, you know, they can do the surgery and get the mass out because if it's attached, it's just, um, if it's attached, you just, it has to be separated from that vessel. And um, they'll do the scan a week after his last round of chemo. And um, we'll see how that goes. And after that, if, it, if he's cleared and the doctor feels he could get clear margins when he does the surgery and get all of it out, and it hasn't spread anywhere that they'll do the surgery, the Whipple procedure. And uh, it's, you can look it up. It's a very complicated and um, complex surgery, you know, and plus he has to try to eat and get healthier at this time. So we're trying to do a lot more healthy for him and lots of protein and, and he needs lots of, lots of protein. Cause like I told you before, he's basically skeletal at this point. Um, the, it's just, really rough on him so I definitely hope that you guys can give us lots and lots of prayers uh, we still have the GoFundMe we are so thankful to everybody who has supported us so far and if you are able to I will have the link down below in the description box that maybe you could give to his GoFundMe and um, the bills are very high and coming in <laughs> and um, you know it's taken a lot it's it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> but so if you're able to donate to the gofundme please please if you can we appreciate it very much and thank you everybody for all the wonderful cards he's been getting he just loves them so much it's so nice of all of you to do that if you have any questions you're more than welcome to ask i'll do the best i can um i feel honestly like my mind is continually in a fog uh, you know and i sometimes do get confused. I talk to so many people, you know, about everything. <laughs> and so I try to do it as accurate as I can, you know, but I'm human. I make mistakes. So I hope that I have addressed everything as accurately as possible. And, um, but I, if you have a question, oh, and I asked what was the name of the cancer? That's another question I ask, and I probably don't say it right. And I want to look it up because some people say, adenocarcinoma instead of say adenocarcinoma so i'm not really sure i'll put the name here too of how to pronounce it it is a um a fairly recognizable cancer um you could get in different areas of your body it just so happens obviously when you get it in your pancreas it's the most you know aggressive place to get it anybody who has cancer you know it is a very serious situation but i just know that the pancreas is the most aggressive you know, so um, I just wanted to give you the name of that so that you had the name. But um, yeah, so I'll try to keep you guys up to date. So he does a counseling on the 15th. So hopefully not long after that, he could start his chemo and hopefully they could get the chemo. If not, I don't know what he will use, but that's what he wants to use right at this point. So. I thank everybody and I appreciate it so much and I hope everybody has a wonderful day or wonderful evening depending on where you are. You guys mean a lot to me and I appreciate all of you. I really truly do. I thank you and I love you. Bye bye guys.